It's fascinating to think that slavery has been abolished so many years ago and it still exists. Unfortunately, some authorities do not even want to think that slavery exists. Slavery, this is a very old word around the world. The phenomenon of slavery exists. Slavery itself is a violation of human rights. When a person is in slavery, they cannot move from one place to another. They are not paid. They want to come out of that slavery. However, they, they cannot find the ways. Slavery is affecting our nation, but unfortunately it is not realized by the governance now. Child servitude it is an important issue in Haiti, what we call in Creole West Africa. In Nepal, there are various types of slavery. A traditional type of slavery, which is now abolished by the law. However, at the same time, there are modern day slavery as well. For children, they are working in the stone quarries and carpet factories. Many girls, young girls and women, they are forced to be trafficked in the sex trade. When you just visit a mine site, you are going to see hundreds of people who are working. When you see them, you cannot know what's in their hearts. So when you speak to them, then you see people who have so many problems, you are going to discover that they have debts. Some of them have submitted sexual act before they get jobs, and so, so many other human violations. For adults, they may have taken some amount of money from people they call sponsors. But in return, they are expected to work for these masters or sponsors for as long as they are able to repay the debt. But there is a scheme in place where you can never really repay these debts. Because the more you work, the more they continue to add you money. So you are permanently trapped in that kind of situation. In some mines, you can see children, you can see women, you can see men, you can see young men, and uh, all ages are really involved in working in very hard conditions. In fishing communities, often you will see children who are engaged in fishing by themselves on a company, working from dusk to dawn to catch fish that they don't even serve them on their meal. When you see children fishing on the lake, at first sight, you, you question yourself, is this really happening? It's, it's just at the backyard of a community. Do people see this? Are these children safe? There are two words to explain West Africa. Separation and exploitation. The kid is separated from his family and he is exploited by another one for housework. Sometimes you can see with their clothes and you can see injured in, 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 in their skins. That kind of stuff you look for the mistreatment and compare with another kids. Originally I trained as a professional teacher. So during teaching, I came face to face with most of these issues and how a lot of children are not able to attend school simply because the parents cannot take care of them. After a year or two, the children stop coming to school. You ask around and they've gone down south to work. In, in, in most cases, parents compare the situation. They have to see hope in the community before deciding to retrieve their kids. We have 
of them to get organized and to realize by themselves what is slavery and how to fight against it. We involved the communities themselves to found out a solution and they have to carry out activities themselves to come out of this. Wherever we have approached, after a few years we see that the area has been completely slavery free. We live with hope we can change the situation in Haiti. My hope and dream for the future is to see a Ghana without slavery, without child labor, where every child can have access to education, healthcare, shelter, clothing, and also to see families that are capable and able to take care of their children. I can dream of South Asia without slavery, almost like a diamond which will shine in the whole planet, which will bring peace and prosperity around the globe.